YouTube, welcome back to another 978 Custom. Today we're going to talk about customizing. I know a lot of people have been asking me to make a tutorial video. You know, a lot of a lot of you guys can't really paint and you can't afford to buy these customs. And I understand because before I even made customs, someone had this cosmic spider that I was really interested in buying. He wanted a hundred dollars for it, and at the time, right, I was like, a hundred dollars? You know what I could do with that? I could buy five mock figures. Now that I make customs, I understand it's a difficult process. There's a lot of sanding, taking parts off, swapping parts, sculpting, precise painting, and layering, and there's a lot to it. I understand if you guys, you guys don't really want to pay for customs, but this is why I'm here to make the video. We're here to make our own custom. I'm gonna give you guys some Spider-Man options, some pictures I'm gonna throw up in a few seconds, and you guys can let me know what do you think is, is the easiest or the most likable for you guys to do because i'm gonna do it with you i'm gonna i'm gonna grab a figure for instance i have this guy right now blizzard i was probably gonna turn him into an assassin spider-man because he has that perfect face for it but i've seen so many of them done so i'll probably hold off on it until i have a better idea but for now that's what we got i just started customizing i started painting t-shirts maybe in 2011 i started painting i had a logo at the time for my mixtape sleepwalkers and I was painting the logo on all the shirts for merchandise trying to sell it at the shows and stuff like that a lot of it didn't work out I sold a few shirts to a couple friends but for the most part I sat on most of the shirts and I, I had them in a in a bin and they're probably still there but I did enjoy painting painting was fun you know it, it was it was a learning process and there's learning curves to it you know it took me a, it took me a little while to kind of understand layering and, and different brush sizes and, and things like that and how to water down certain paints and to keep certain paints thick there's a lot to learn but for the most part it is really easy now if you want to customize an action figure the best thing to do is to just grab the figure take most of it apart sand off the parts where you know the articulation is and stuff like that elbows shoulders knees um, maybe slightly on the ab crunch depending on where it goes up and down ankles things like that so this is the first video the next video i'm gonna grab paint brushes paints uh, i'll probably grab some cheaper paints for you guys because i know you guys you, you can't really use the, you can't really afford the kind of paints that are more for action figures like testers model masters acrylics we got citadel there's so many other ones but, but the one i use is testers citadel i still have yet to use the walmart paints i have used once they work a lot of people say don't use those paints you can use those paints don't get comfortable using those paints don't use them all the time it's something you don't want to do but you can use those paints it's all about how you seal right how you seal and sand now if you sand enough down and use those walmart paints you'll be fine once it's sealed but if you keep layering and layering globs of paint eventually anything you do is going to just chip away so and that's with any paint you know i have some customers that i bought off someone actually i paid him lightly it's like not much to paint for me and I'm not mad for the price that I paid to paint it, but I could do that myself now that I know how easy customizing can be. It's all step by step. You don't want to take the action figure and think you're going to paint it all in five minutes. It's not going to work that way. You have to take step by step. Torso, paint the torso, paint the arms, paint the legs, so on and so forth. I know I'm gibbering a lot in this video. I've never done a blog. This is my first blog. I just want to help you guys out because you guys have been helping me out. And thank you really for supporting me and coming by and checking on all, all the action figures I've done because I don't have no other place to display them. You guys are the only people that that really support me with the action figures. You know, I don't have any friends locally that uh, support me or even uh, pick me up and say, hey, it was a good job. You know, you, you're painting awesome. I have one friend actually, but thank you guys for coming. I appreciate your support. If you have any more questions, anything you want us to talk about during the next video for the customizing tutorial, Feel free to leave it in the comments. Hit the subscribe button is over here. The like button is over there. And uh, again, thank you for coming. I'll see you guys soon. Now these are all level easy figures I've already done or want to do. And this one is Carnage Symbiote attached to Peter. They call him the Spider. Simple red, little, little uh, symbiote strands or whatever. This one also was easy to do. Just need a Venom figure and some paint if you guys want to do this. Punisher Venom is also another easy figure. We just need another Venom figure and some guns. Fantastic Four Spidey will also be easy if you want to do them. We just need a Pizza Spidey or a 
do whatever, Ben Riley. This one also is easy. This is bullet time. And we can make him with superior Spider-Man or any Spider-Man you have. So you guys let me know what you guys think we, we should do or if you think there's another figure you guys all want to make. Let me know.